the highly anticipated interview between former President Donald Trump and tech billionaire Elon Musk encountered significant technical problems, attributed by Musk to a cyber attack. The conversation, aimed at open-minded independent voters, began over 40 minutes late, frustrating many viewers. During the interview, Trump's speech drew attention due to what some listeners described as a lisp or slurring. This prompted comparisons to President Joe Biden's stutter and sparked online debate about the former president's health and clarity of speech. One of the notable moments was Trump's suggestion that Musk could play a role in his potential administration. Trump praised Musk for his efficiency and indicated he might involve him in a government efficiency commission focused on reducing waste and improving operations. Trump reiterated his plan to disband the Department of Education, advocating for the return of educational control to state governments. This proposal aligns with his base's support for reduced federal involvement in education. Trump proposed the idea of implementing an Iron Dome missile defense system in the United States, inspired by Israel's defense infrastructure. He argued that, like Israel, the US should have a similar protective measure against missile threats. Throughout the discussion, Trump praised controversial world leaders, including Russia's Vladimir Putin, China's Xi Jinping, and North Korea's Kim Jong-un. He described them as tough and smart. While Trump framed his comments as observations of their leadership qualities, his praise for these leaders stirred debate about his foreign policy stance and approach to international relations. In the lead-up to the interview, Trump made a notable return to X, formerly Twitter, after a year-long suspension. With X boasting a significantly larger audience, Trump's return is expected to amplify his political messaging and increase his visibility in the lead-up to the election. The interview provided a glimpse into Trump's policy ideas and his potential approach to governance, though it was overshadowed by technical issues and health-related discussions. <laughs>